What's going on YouTube? With postering his fall run of tour dates, I thought uh, today would be a nice day to discuss my recent uh, Ram finds. And uh, Ram has always been my favorite solo Paul McCartney album. Um, I differentiate between solo Paul and Wings, as I think Wings is a separate uh, entity from Paul's solo material. <clears throat> so, um, first off is this pretty cool sign, uh, welcome back to the heart of the country. And I found this um, on the floor actually when I went to see Paul in Des Moines in July. Um, after the show there was quite a few of these uh, laying about so I picked a few up and uh, I think it, just think it's really clever um, because Iowa is in the Midwest, uh, Midwestern part of the United States. Um, I thought that was neat to tie in the song with, uh, with uh, Iowa, so yeah. There is that, and then I have to give a shout out to Planet School Records in St. Louis. Um, they're just off Manchester Road, and uh, I went there today, and <clears throat> I picked up two things that I didn't expect to see in a, in a record store um, these days, and those were the, the vinyl uh, mono edition of Ram and the deluxe box set of Ram. Um, what happened was this this uh, record collector recently sold his massive Beatles collection to the store and um, they posted about it on Facebook and I decided to, to go pick it, pick it up and see what else I could find. So I picked up uh, the Ram Mono Edition vinyl as, as I told you a bit earlier and the Ram Deluxe Box set. I think the Mono was uh, 70 bucks and or no, the mono was thirty bucks. Sorry, the uh, and the box set was seventy bucks. But uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to delve into this. As I said earlier, Ram is my favorite solo album by Paul. It's just you know pretty amazing and uh, perfect from beginning to end. And I think it was during Wingspan uh, when Paul was talking about Ram, he was you know thinking you know in re in retrospect you know. He'd been listening to it a lot at the time, as it's quite an interesting, re interesting record, and um, I would love for him to to do a few more Ram songs in his live set these days. I know he's done "Smile Away" and "Get It Home" uh, back in '72, and uh, he's done Ram on for soundcheck, and he did "Too Many People" in 2005, which of course he. Uh, so this is for the Wings fans, but it wasn't a Wings song, and uh, I always done it another day. Um, but yeah, I would like to see more Ram material in the set, and um, I had an interesting discussion with my friend Sam the other day about uh, about the musicians who, who played on the record, and he was talking about how he wanted Hugh McCracken in, in Wings, and uh, if you don't know the story, Hugh... Uh, he played on Ram, and then after the after the album was released, Paul invited him out to Scotland to join Wings, and I think he rehearsed with them for a little bit, but uh, he ultimately he decided not to not to do it, and uh, I think the gig went to Denny Lane instead. So you know, just food for thought. Um, so oh oh also, so I've I've been searching for for one of these for years, and um, if you remember back when the Ram Archive Edition was released. If you bought it through Paul's website, you could get this limited edition shirt, and I, I didn't get it at the time, so I was really frustrated because they're so cool, because they have the artwork on the back, and um, so one day I decided to just search, you know, Paul McCartney Ram shirt on eBay, and lo and behold, I found it for a pretty good price as well, so see the the album art. It's really cool. It's a really a comfortable shirt. So, all in all, that's my little Ram uh, Ram finds. Um, you know, if you want to discuss discuss the album, uh, feel free to discuss it below in the comments. And until uh, next time.